Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steps Basic, and welcome back to Let's Play Community Show. That was dumb. Welcome back to my community show. Anyway, that's not what's important. What's important is what we're discussing today. First of all, as always, announcements first. Starting this week, we're gonna, I'm going to be starting up the, uh, the, the podcast channel, um, Still don't have any artwork for it yet, but I'm looking forward to getting some some up and uh, whatnot. And we got our first videos to go live, which will be the introduction. And uh, we got some highlight reels that will be uh, going up. And that's basically what that, pod cha that channel is going to be dedicated to, which is basically highlight stuff and the podcast itself. And it's going to be from both me and Bubble Ninja, too. So there you go. Now you know what we're doing over there. But anyway. That's why what's important today is what is important. Our important topic for today is going to be none other than... That was weird. An OBS tutorial. Now, first of all, I need to go out and say that I'm not the most proficient at OBS tutorial. Or OBS, I should say, or the Open Broadcast Source, which is a free download screen capture service. And... For a free system, for a free service, it's primo. It's beautiful. Top of the line. Perfect. I love it. But it's not the best one out there. You know, it uses uh, it uses your CPU to record rather than like your graphics card or something like Shadowplay does. But apart from that, it does really well. It does what it's supposed to do. Now, first of all, now you're seeing a blank screen. This is a blank canvas of... Um, OBS. You can't see anything here. I had to add in the audio input capture so you know what is going on. Now, first of all, I'm going to right click on the sources menu and I'm going to add display capture so that you know what I'm doing right now. And there we go. Now we have our display capture. You'll notice that it's, uh, I'm moving it around a little bit right now, right? I'm going to move it so that you can see OBS. And then I'm going to shrink it. See this top corner up here where my mouse is at? Yes. Click it. Drag it. And that'll resize it for you. Let's go ahead and resize it to fit the screen. Now this is my second monitor part. So it's a little bit different what you will from what you will see like on my main monitor. And if you want to affect which one it's going to capture, you can come down here. Check properties, and right now it's selecting display two. You can change it to display one, and this is my main desktop. See, hello, here's my mousey. We're gonna put it back to display two though. Because that's what we're gonna work with today. So, here we have, now the stuff I'm talking about right now is fairly, easy to put in here like audio input capture i had to put that in here so i could talk to you same thing you just add it audio input capture audio output capture is like you see here i have the desktop audio that is the audio output capture right now it's on nil or infinite negative infinite decibels because well quite frankly i'm not going to be capturing any audio from my desktop for this um now i showed you the the resizing with the uh, the red border. Well, there's other things you can do as well. <laughs> you click Alt, not Control, and you can resize it this way as well. Basically, it creates a new border for your uh, image. Now I'm doing a lot of talking, and you haven't seen me yet, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now. Now for that, you would go to Video Capture Device, add that in. I'm going to add existing because I've already got, move out of the way. I'm going to add existing because I've already got that um, for my webcam. Okay, and see, there I am. Hi. <laughs> now, as you see, this is the full border. 
you can tell because all the borders are red and uh, I can resize it to just have my face in there. So now I'm just a face floating in a box on top of my screen. Now, this is one way you can record your video stuff. Uh, you can also adjust a few things. Uh, like down here, I have the audio input cap audio input capture. I have it set to positive six decibels. Otherwise, it comes out really quiet. I'm not sure if that's my microphone or if it's the system itself, but that's how it ends up coming out. And of course, just like with the other things, if you want to affect the properties, you click this little gear right here and you can go down to properties or you right click here and go to properties as well. And that's where you'll have your uh, webcams. You can deactivate it, you can figure video, affect all of the frames per second and stuff, video format, resolution. Um, you can flip it vertically. <laughs> Or, you know, do other stuff. Those are things you can do with that. Now, I have this right here. This is a scene transition. You can click it to affect it how you want it to. Basically, just a hard cut or a fade. And then you can affect how quick the fade happens. So, as you will see, I'm about to switch over to my vlog cam again. This one right here is my vlog cam. Ha! Ah. And then back. Oh! And then back. Oh, and then back. Now, of course, I have a few other things set up. Like this right here is just game. It literally is just the uh, picking up the window. Um, you can add uh, game capture or window capture. Window capture is my favorite because you can click it um, and you can have it. You can get it to, to select anything. I don't know what sound capture is. Meh. <laughs> That's the Elgato sound capture. But you can have it, you know, pick whatever uh, um, thing you have open. And uh, I'll get, get rid of that. Because now it's over my face. In order to get rid of that, just click it. Minus. Yes, I want to remove it. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> um, now, the way I have this... You can check your settings and everything. This one, the settings portion, the settings portion is is fairly important to how things are going to go. Now, generally, it will be set up so that things will, like you'll you'll get the option to set things up, move out of my way, to uh, for recording or for streaming and whatnot, and like stream here. This is where you will do your uh, your streaming stuff. I'm not going to show you this because then you'll be able to stream on my channel and I don't want you doing that. <laughs> but you got the YouTube gaming, primary YouTube ingest service, and you can get the stream link. I'll cover that in a different tutorial because that's a whole nother animal. But right now that's what you need to know for that. Um, this will be your output. I have this video bitrate set to 8,000 because I was checking for something. Um, because you remember those little squares I was getting in Resident Evil? Yeah, apparently if you set the bit rate higher, then you get better, you know, outcome. Then you can tell it where to go and how to do it. All that stuff. All right. Uh, video. Now this right here is your base canvas resolution. I don't think I can a video output. Yeah, I can't I can't change any of this while I'm actually recording with it. <laughs> but you can set this to a different um, ratio or resolution to affect this canvas right here and uh, that's a that's a little tip I'm gonna talk to you about in a second so um, cancel out of there there are a few other things you can set like hotkeys and whatnot like you can set tab to switch between scenes if you wanted to um, I don't really need that uh, but like I was telling you with this right here you can do either game capture or window capture and it'll allow you to select which window you want active for the game now um, I'm gonna talk to you about this even though I can't technically show you while I'm recording it but as you see I have my face cam right here and I have my game cam right here let's pretend that this is a game window well there's one thing you can do because a lot of times you want 
unfiltered, un- uncovered photo or video. Now, what you can do is like I was showing you the canvas earlier, you can adjust the, uh, the video canvas. You can actually set it so that it's a wider aspect so that you can have like your game next to your face cam. And that way you'll have the game and then your face cam and you can just crop your face cam onto your thing when you're editing. It's a little technique you can do. I learned that from, uh, from pixel pit actually. He did a tutorial on these stuff too. And I was like, ah, that's pretty cool. Now, much like I was saying, there's a lot of different things you can do here. There's some of the stuff that I don't even know what I'm doing with yet. And it's a little, a little, little confusing if you don't know what you're into and don't know what you're looking at. I have several different, uh, outputs here. Like this one, it's just game, but I don't have the game open at the moment or any games open at the moment, so you can't see this, but I've got the game title and I've got audio output capture. I don't have anything else in this. In fact, I had to add the audio input to talk to you and I'm going to get rid of it. I created the, the blank scene, um, this one right here, so that I could do the tutorial and show you step by step on how to build your source scene or your scene, but I'm going to get rid of that. And it's basically right now, it's the same as full screen. Let's see? <laughs> The only difference is, as you can see, the green borders here. I have this set a little smaller because when I have when I, when I do the recordings of some games, I will actually crop the display so that I will have the game centered and you won't be able to see the rest of the display. So like where I to open Paint, say, oof, let's minimize that real quick. So if I were to open paint per se, then I could take this and I could shrink it down to just show the paint window. And I can move my face out of the way and I can draw. And then I can be like, oh, look at how cool I am at drawing things. And you'd be like, oh my, you are so cool at these. Go away. No, don't save. But that's one thing you can do right there. Um, back to Blake screen. Now, for those of you who are wondering, yes, I did draw this picture, but not in paint. <laughs> I did this in Photoshop. So this is my own artwork. If you were, if you ever watched my, um, my nightmare, not nightmare, my night before Christmas uh, video I did. Yeah, that's that's where that scene comes from. Um, but I have these separate set up. Like I have log cam for when I'm doing my community show. I have just the game one. I have full screen. I have World of Warcraft, which comes with uh, audio input as well as screen capture. That way I can do my voiceovers. And then I have, ow, I have another game cam which, you know, obviously don't have the game included. So back to blank scene. Um, if you want to affect the audio, you got advanced audio properties. That brings up this window right here. I have my audio input capture up to 200%. That's the plus six so that you guys can hear me. You can adjust it any higher, any lower. These right here do not apply to me so much because uh, Filmora doesn't have different audio tracks to edit. But if you do something like Vegas or um, uh, I think Vegas is Photoshop, uh, the Adobe one, um, you'll be able to select different tracks to edit the audio in. And uh, can't do that with uh, Filmora, sadly. But that's kind of cool. Uh, all that stuff is uh, important stuff. Go away. Uh trying to think of anything else. First of all, I do want to say if there's anything that you guys feel you might be able to add to this, let me know because I do like to know things. Um, I had for a while a color source. Eh. Which is just this blue screen. I like to put it behind my thing because blue is one of, uh, one of my favorite colors and I feel like I've done accidentally associated it with my channel with a lot of things. But you can add a color source as a backdrop. 
Um, see how right now it's up above that everything? If you move it down, it goes behind everything. <laughs> like right here, it's just behind my webcam. And down one more, it's behind everything. See, you still have the red outline, but it's gone. Uh, get out. Get out of here. Delete. Oh, wait. Minus. Yes. And you can pick different colors for that. Now, one thing I did want to mention. I've opened up uh, Internet Explorer on my uh, primary monitor here, right? Now, I'm going to do something here. Which one was it? Live stream. See where I have this live stream topic right here? Watch this. I boop. And we switch over and look. I have gotten rid of all the white and everything that's in it. So you can't see any of the white. You can just see all the lettering and whatnot. I, uh, I did that for my chat overlay when I do my live streams. So that when I do my live streams, you can uh, see things as well as, you know, this. Let's go over here to add another thing. We're going to do just like we did before, window capture. And we're going to add in the channel dashboard from my my main channel. You see, that's me and, and Kiddo right there, our faces and everything. We're going to add that in there. And uh, I can't really show it to you because it brings up some information that I don't want you guys to have. <laughs> I have to be very careful, but essentially add the window capture, select properties, select Firefox or whatever internet sort source you use. All right. So then we have that now. All right. So in here, we're going to have filters. We're going to add, go to filters. We're going to add a filter. Chroma key. Okay. Now, when we have this, we're going to select this custom. Pick screen color, white. Okay. And now it completely disappears except for that little red thing up there, right? We're going to adjust the similarity. Now, of course, this works a little bit easier if you got something else to work with, like, because I have a uh, night mode set on my uh, my chat window, so you know, it I'll be able to select like oh actually now that I think about it, I can select uh, these right here, <laughs> but that'll affect what you can see there. Anyway, let's get rid of this. Uh, but that's how you would set the chroma key and whatnot. That's how I can go from, uh, that's how I can have my live stream. See how you can only see the, uh, faces and whatnot. Yeah. It's pretty neat. It's fun. Anyway, back to blank scene. But that is literally all I really know about this. Apart from the live streaming ability, which is, like I said, a, a different, uh, a different method altogether on how to set up a live stream. But if you guys know anything else that, that I might like to know about, make sure to leave those in, in my comments down below. And of course, anyone who's looking for any more information that I haven't provided here, you feel free to ask. And of course, check the comments in case somebody else has left any comments. And if it's something I know how to do, I will address it. And if it's something I don't know how to do, I'll address that as well. Um, or I'll look into it. <laughs> But anyway, apart from that, that's it for today's episode of The Community Show. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please go and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. When I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time for another action-packed thrill ride of a community show. It's not really action-packed or anything like that, but you know, what the heck. But anyway, until then, good night. Good night.